Network Security Authentication TACAX. I want to show you just a really simple lab. CCNA Security and Network Security Training will not ask you to know, for instance, ACS in details. And it's not only ACS over there. That's why it's pretty difficult for me to, to recommend a good solution. This is CCNA Security Real World Labs. I just want to show you how to start with ACS and how to create a simple lab. We'll use again the same access point. And we'll try and authenticate using uh, TACAX and ACS. I am logged into a Cisco Secure ACS server that is running on VMware. You can get it from Cisco and there is a trial version. I think it's 90 days. It's pretty easy to set up. You get an image from Cisco VMware and I put that on my ESX server. When you log into the web interface, literally there are two, maybe three steps that you have to do to enable authentication using a Cisco ACS server. And of course, I will use the local database on ACS. That's what we did for Radius, for instance, with Active Directory. Of course, you can integrate ACS with Active Directory, LDAP services, and so on. Let me see, because it will probably log me off. Yep, that's, our, that's it. Let me log in again. Sorry, the screen is pretty slow because I'm using VNC. I'm still waiting for for a license for Radmin, which is much faster. Okay. And the... Um, let me see if I can authenticate. Yeah. Because I played with Radius. So. Okay. That's my access point, and now it uses the local database. When I do triple A, you will see this line, local, and then enable. What we want to change it to, we want to change it to TACAX and use an ACS server to authenticate, for instance, a network administrator. In ACS, we have our devices and there is a switch that's fine we can leave it that's AP and IP address is 172.16.1.12 I will use 1234567.8 as my shared secret. I don't need radius. I'm okay with TACAX only. That's my access point. 172.16.1.12 and that's all I have to do in here. Users, we are going to use the local database. Let's create a new one. I'll show you that. Let's say test 11. As you can see, that is a name I use everywhere. Okay. I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And enable is going to be Cisco. As you can see, you can force a user to change the password. I'm fine with, oops, I have to confirm that guy. And submit. That should be enough. What we have to do, we have to specify the TACAX server on, on this access point and change the default authentication to TACAX. Of course, you can apply it to VTI, console. Uh, I, I recorded 
a lecture where I showed you how to enable uh, .1x and just, you know, whatever you need. This is a really simple ACS lab. What we want to have, we want to have a TACAX server host. It is 172.16.1. Uh, 175 okay and the key is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay that is my TACAX server host now what I need and every time you this command is really dangerous because it's the default one that's why I always like to do do reload in 15 don't save it of course in the production environment you could create a group like this one for instance and apply it under VTI console wherever you want CCNA security real world labs right let's break things AAA authentication login default default group tacax plus and then local okay that's it that should kill this access point because now when I use admin and Cisco it's not going to work because it's not using the local database at the moment it will try and go to the TACAX. Of course it's really crazy to do it that way because you know of course here I can reboot it that's fine. I could always turn it to it and leave my console but I trust myself. No I don't. Test 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Please, please, please. Yes, 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 yes. Cisco. Yes, it's working. Cool. Okay. Whew. I didn't want to lose 15 minutes again. Okay. We are authenticated. What I want to show you is a really nice monitoring section in ACS. It will open in a new window and it has a lot of predefined options which are really good. And when I saw it for the first time, I was surprised that what do you mean Cisco will include like a monitoring system? I don't need to set it up by myself. That's weird. What I want to show you is this section here, my favorite reports. And one of them is authentication. And I am interested in TACAX today. Here. test 11, access point, and that's the admin, yeah, that we tried. That's how it works. It's a lot of people ask this question, what, what will happen if I use admin and Cisco and it's my local account? Well, it doesn't really matter because the command that we typed, where is it? Where was it? This one, here. This guy is going to be used if TACAX is not available and TACAX is reachable and said, well, sorry, admin and Cisco, that's not good. I don't like it. Don't allow. Yep. And here it says, OK, you can click details and receive more information about this session. Yeah, I encourage you to play with this monitoring section in ACS. It's really powerful and it's pretty detailed when something, um, if, if something doesn't work and you don't know why, in most cases, this section will tell you what's going on. It's, it's a really unique feature when you think about Cisco. In most cases, a Cisco device tells you, well, I don't know, you, you are a Cisco certified engineer, you tell me what's wrong. 
uh, on ACS you have a nice built-in monitoring system and I encourage you to use it. That's easy, isn't it? Yeah, is that, is that all? And the answer is yes. To enable TACAX Plus and ACS, that's what you have to do. Of course, you can get deeper if you have to and if you want, you can enable authorization. You can specify the commands that you want to allow. Of course, you can do that on a Cisco router using a view, so that's not good. Most people use a dedicated TACAX server. What I want to mention at this stage is that Cisco is not the only vendor that uh, offers uh, TACAX servers. And I, I have seen a lot of solutions and they were not made by Cisco really good as well. I'm not saying ACS is bad, I have seen that in many places as well. However, please bear in mind it's not the only solution even though it is TACAX. It is the TACAX protocol. Let's minimize. In this video we talked about authentication, TACAX and an ACS server. I showed you how to enable basic authentication AAA on an access point because we have been using the same access point in the last couple of videos and for radius and dot one x and so on it doesn't really matter the same applies to a cisco router switch firewall and so on thank you very much